Hey there guys, now here's a really great trick that you can learn and I'll teach you it today. But um, before I start anything, I have a lot of shout outs to tell you. Okay, now all of these magicians, I don't think all of them are magicians, but they're all great users of YouTube and um, all their links will be <clears throat> up around here somewhere, so around the perimeter. Now those are um, Go Gogu one two three four five six seven eight nine. I think that's it. But anyway, um, then we've got Masked zero one one A. We next have XX Catley XX, and we also have Thunder seven three seven one one. And next person is sorry if I can't pronounce you, but Dapan. Dapan Mu. Dapan Mu, yes. And also we've got Kshinon Lush. Now, if I'm pronouncing your names wrong, I'm sorry, but there'll be their links up here. Um, I suggest you click on them. Anyway, Mr. Unrevealed Magician, I think. Anyway, so they are all great magicians and they're about to disappear in a little while. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> so here's the trick. Now, I'd like to tell you, actually, I'd like to tell you that apparently in poker, when you've got five cards, let's say you had the four aces. Okay, now in poker, you don't actually have four cards. You always have five cards. So, that if you had the four aces and a random card, that card would be meaningless. And it would be called the kicker card. Now, basically, today I'm going to try and prove to you that this card, kept, maybe I can find it meaningful. Okay, so basically, this 10 is unfortunately meaningless. So I'm going to put some cards on each one of these piles. So because I've taken out the jokers, I think I have, yes I have, um, I'm going to put roughly about 10 on each pile, so... Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put these cards on each one of the piles. this like that okay now what I'm gonna do is I'll just switch these up okay just like that okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this ace of hearts on top of this pile and put a little amount of cards on top of there do the same for this one and for this one but I'll keep the ten face up that. Now on here. Now I'm going to gather up all the piles together like that. Now what I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you how, um, well this is a long tutorial, sorry about this long tutorial, but anyway it'll be worth it at the end. Now what I'm going to do is now that it's all cut up I'm going to find the 10. There's the 10. Right there that. So I'll put this 10 just over here. Yes, that is a 10. Yeah, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spell out the first ace. The ace of clubs. A-C-E-O-F-C-L-U-B-S. There's the ace of clubs. Sorry. <laughs> and now I'm going to do <clears throat> the ace of hearts. A-C-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T S, there is the Ace of Hearts. So I'll put it where you can see it. Now the Ace of Spades. A C E O F S P A D E S. There you've got Ace of Spades. Now the Ace of Diamonds. A C E O F D I A M O N D S. Oh, that didn't work. But maybe. 
if I can make this 10 meaningful right now. I'll count down 10 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there is the Ace of Diamonds. So that's a really cool trick that you can do. Here's how it works. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to get out the four aces. Now this is what you've got to do. You put the ten of hearts in the middle. Then you've got the ace of spades on the end. Then you've got the ace of diamonds. Then you've got the ace of clubs. And then the ace of hearts. Okay, just like that. Now what you do is you tell them the story that I told you. you follow along. You put ten cards on this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put on there. And the next one you do ten as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. And then on the next one, you put just nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the next one, you put ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that'll leave you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, look, eight. <laughs> okay, anyway, so you put that on top of the last pile. Um, then what you're going to do is you're just going to do it exactly as I did. You can even get the spectator to do that. Okay. Some on. It does not matter. They can even put just one card on top. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Put that on top. That on top. And then what you do is you put the ace on top and you get the last pile and put that on top. Sorry that this is a very long tutorial. <laughs> But anyway, and then what you do is you do false cuts, whatever you want to do. It makes sure they stay in the order they were in. Sorry. Anyway, so then what you do is you separate the 10, you replace it like that, and then you spell out all the cards. So you start with Ace of Clubs, A-C-E-O-F-C-L-U-B, and you do it on the S. And then the next one, the Ace of Hearts, A-C-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T on the S. And then the Ace of Spades, A-C-E-O-F-S-P-A-D-E-S. There's the Ace of Spades, sorry, like that. And then what you do is you spell out the Ace of Diamonds, A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. It won't work. And what you're going to do is you're going to put, you're going to replace the deck, basically just like that, and you're going to count down ten cards: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's not the tenth card; it's actually the eleventh. So you go ten, and then you flip it over, and it'll be the Ace of Diamonds. So that's a really cool trick that you can do. Um, thank you for watching. That's a really cool trick you can do. Very simple to learn. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.